Looks like the jury's still out on that one, right? Fancy Freddy give you the tour yet? He did. Is the Dodgers still, still losing? I might be able to answer that question if Carl over here stopped running his nasty mouth. I'm pretty close to all my children. My youngest is seven, but my boys are 16 and 18. And uh, it's funny, because my son's going off to college now, and it's, uh, he's, I can see him finding his identity and being very opinionated about things. And this is what you promote as a parent. You know, you don't want them to go through the hardships you went through. But if they do, you want to make sure their tool bag is filled with the things to get them through. And they come through it with the same positiveness that you did when you made it through. What about you, Lenny? You have a grown-up daughter, right? I do. What was the question again? <laughs> I got so into his answer. What was, the, what was the question again? I mean, with my kid, I mean, the, you, the best you can do is educate them. Mm -hmm. And at a certain point, you have to trust what it is you did, you know, what kind of upbringing you, you gave your child. So at a certain point, I have to trust that I gave her the best tools, and now she has to use them. And I have to trust that she's going to find her way. And, I, and, that, and that's worked for me, you know. How are we kidding? She's in Divergent. She's a huge star. No, no, no. She's no, gorgeous. But, she's the prettiest well, girl I've seen in the world, <laughs> other than Piper Gooding. She's gorgeous. She's smart. She's intelligent. Mm. She's phenomenal. You're fine. Well, there you go. This movie has a pretty serious note to it. So how did you, like, in between takes, did you lighten up the mood in any way? You know, whenever the camera stopped rolling, I mean, it was pretty much laughter the whole time. And, uh, and we all got on so well that we even spent a lot of our free time together. You know, you, you gotta really like somebody when you're working all day with them. Mm -hmm. And then you wanna go out at night and have dinner and drinks and hang out, and, and we did that. It was, uh, it was a great experience. Compare anything about being on stage and being an actor. Does it, do you feel both of them are kind of liberating in the same way? They're both liberating, but in different ways. I mean, when I'm on stage with my music, it's my world, so I do whatever I want to do, how, when, mm -hmm. stop in the middle. I can do whatever I want to do, take it whichever direction that I feel. And when you're playing a role, you're, you're serving the director and the mm. character, and, and, and I like that because it's a good relief for me from doing what I do, which is very self-indulgent, not, not saying that in a negative way at all, but uh, so they're, they're, they're the same, but they're different at the same time. So are you gonna play in Norway soon? Uh, yeah. Can you take me yeah. with you? Yeah, Cuba and I are going to come to Norway. He's going to yeah. sing with me. Um, oh. and, uh, what? And uh, It'll be a hell of an acting role, I'll <laughs> tell you that right now. There he is. Heard you were coming. What's your name, my brother? Cecil, Cecil Gay. Cecil Gay. That ain't funny. Well, I'm Carter Wilson, head butler. Don't worry about Big Mo behind you. That brother's D. Wallet before you even knew it.